Hello everyone, wait is over and uh, we are now here with the MCQs from the unit number 2 operating system and Linux operating system. So in this video we will see most important and frequently asked MCQs of unit number 2. I have already discussed 40 MCQs from the unit number 1. And in this video we will see only 20 important MCQs because comparatively this unit is less important and unit 1, your unit 1 is most important. Go and watch that video if you haven't watched that videos. I have discussed 40 MCQs in that unit, okay. So in this unit your first question is what is the primary function of an operating system? Option is option A execute application, manage hardware resources. Provide internet connectivity and last option is create documents. Correct option is option number B which is manage hardware resource. Next question. Which of the following is the feature of Windows operating system? Is it terminal, finder, control panel or APT gate? Correct option is option C which is control panel. Moving to the next question. What is the primary function of a bootloader in the Windows operating system? Option A. Manage user accounts. Option B. Load the operating system into memory. Option C. Control hardware peripherals. And last option is execute application programs. Correct option is option B which is load the operating system into memory. Guys do not miss any one of the questions. I have covered all the concept in the MCQs only. If you go through all these questions then there is no need to study the PPT and books for the for this particular subject. Do all the MCQs thoroughly and you will get good score in your exam. Next question which version of Windows introduce the start menu. Is it Windows 95, Windows XP, Windows 7 or Windows 10? Correct option is option number A, Windows 95. Next question. What is the purpose of the Windows registry? Option is manage file permission. Option B, store system configuration setting. Option C, execute system commands. Last option is control user authentication. Correct option is option B. Store system configuration setting. Next question. During the Windows installation process, what is the purpose of the partitioning step? Option A. Install device driver. Option B. Create user accounts. Option C. Allocate disk space to operating system. Last option is configure network setting. Correct option is option number C. Allocate disk space for the operating system. Next question. In the Windows file system, what is the primary purpose of the program files directory? Option A. Store system configuration file. Option B. Manage user profiles. Option C. Install application programs. Last option, control system processes. Correct option is option C, install application program is the primary purpose of the program files directory. Moving to the next question, what is the core component of the Linux operating system? Kernel responsible for managing resource, uh, system resource. Option is cell, init, kernel, file system correct option is kernel next question which linux distribution is known for its community driven and open source nature option is ubuntu red hat sent operating system arc linux correct option is option a ubuntu next question in the linux file system what is the purpose of slash bin directory Option A, store binary executable files. Option B, manage system processes. Option C, store user home directories. Last option is control network settings. Store binary executable files is the main purpose of slash bin directory. We have covered half of the portion. Moving to the next portion. What is the role of the grub bootloader in? Linux system option is 
लोड द ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम कर्नल ऑप्शन बी मैनेज यूजर ऑथेंटिकेशन ऑप्शन सी कंट्रोल हार्डवेयर पेरिफेरल्स लास्ट ऑप्शन इज एग्जीक्यूट सेल स्क्रिप्ट करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन ए लोड द ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम कर्नल नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वट इज द प्राइमरी पर्पज ऑफ द रूट डायरेक्टरी स्लैश इन द लिनक्स फाइल सिस्टम करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन नंबर सी सर्व एज द बेस ऑफ द फाइल सिस्टम हाई आर की नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन Which of the following is the feature commonly associated with Linux but not with the Windows? Option is registry, kernel, start menu or direct x. Correct option is option number B, kernel. Guys, if you are enjoy enjoying watching the videos, please do not forget to subscribe the channel and do share these videos in the all the groups. Guys, please hit the like button also, please. Next question, what is the significant ad significant advantage of using virtual machine in both Windows and Linux environments? Option, improved graphical user interface, enhanced file system security, simultaneous execution of multiple operating system, faster boot times. Correct option is option C, simultaneous execution of multiple operating system. Next question, in terms of user interface, which of the following statements is true for Windows compared to Linux? Option A, Windows uses the Genome Desktop Environment. Option B, Linux uses the Windows Arrow Interface. Option C, Windows has a unified interface across distribution. Option D, Linux uses the Windows Explorer Files Manager. Correct option is option C. Windows has a unified interface across distributors which makes the difference. Next question. What is the primary file system used by Windows operating system? Very important questions. Higher chances of this question in your exams. Option is FAT32, NTFS, EXT4 or XFS. Correct option is option B, NTFS. Full form of NTFS is new technology file system and guys a uh, full form of FAT can also be asked full form of FAT is file allocation table moving to the next question which command line cell is commonly used in Linux system option A power cell option B command prompt option C bash last option is CMD correct option is bash Next question, which virtualization technology is commonly used in cloud computing platforms? Option A, VMware, VirtualBox, Hyper-V or KVM which is kernel based virtual machine. Correct option is T1 Lee, KVM, kernel based virtual machine. Next question, what is the benefit of using snapshots in virtual machine? Option A, increased system performance. Option B, efficient use of disk space. Option C, quick recovery to previous state. Option D, enhanced network security. Correct option is option C, quick recovery to a previous state. And last question of this series, which virtualization type allows running multiple operating systems on the same physical hardware simultaneously. Option A, full virtualization. Option B, containerization. Option C, para virtualization. Or option D, hosted virtualization. Correct option is option A, full virtualization is the correct option. So this, this was the last question. Thank you so much for watching the videos. If you guys have enjoyed watching the videos, please do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe the channel and share these videos in all the groups. Thank you so much guys. Guys, I will make the videos for all the next unit. Although last three unit is not that much important compared to first three unit, but still I will make the videos. Guys, please wait. I will definitely make the videos before your exam. Thank you so much guys. Bye-bye.